one of my favorite pastimes is, is simply driving around the property, just enjoying the beauty, spotting wildlife. My name is Steve Smith. We're at Quahati Ranch in Western Erath County. My wife Joan and I live in Dallas and we have five children. In the early 80s, we started looking for a ranch as a getaway place from Dallas. And we kept coming back to the Cross Timbers area because it had quail. Slowly over the years, the quail dwindled from huntable numbers when we bought it to virtually nothing. Quahati Ranch really serves as an example of what can be done to help restore these, these, uh, these ecosystems and restore these species. And it resulted in an increase definitely in your nesting cover. Just like little blue stem clumps like this. Yeah. This is the property that I did my master's uh, project on with Tarleton State University and the Rolling Plains Co. Research Ranch on translocation in northern bobwhite. Um, it was part of a large-scale translocation effort where we moved birds from northwest Texas and south Texas to Quahati Ranch to evaluate their survival and reproduction between those two different subspecies of bobwhite. We moved uh, approximately 250 wild quail. The reason that I was interested in the translocation project was to see if, if, if one could successfully translocate bobwhite quail from one habitat to another habitat. I'm interested in trying to have quail here again, but also the benefit of the research for future generations and other landowners who might be interested in trying the same thing. Not only did it give me the opportunity to conduct research, but also dozens of undergraduates at Tarleton State University um, and did a great job of helping train the next generation of wildlife biologists. Mr. Smith, I mean, he's, he's done so much, um, not only for largely funding a lot of the research efforts that went into this translocation project, he's also um, opened his gates to the public to host field days out here and try and spread the word on, on quail management. And this, these are just in, in addition to, to all the land management that he's been doing, which is exemplary on its own. We have, I think, four bulldozers, uh, a road grader. We use that equipment to maintain the property and keep it uh, as it should be. I believe that uh, the Lord put us here to be stewards of his gifts, and we've been fortunate enough to be able to have a place like this. And I, I firmly believe that we have an obligation to try to maintain it and preserve uh, the place as God made it. I hope that our children and grandchildren will continue to maintain and take care of the wildlife for many, many years to come.